Hi, I'm Dr. Claire McGuire and today we're going to make a cheesecake, but we're going to make a cheesecake with Christmassy kind of flavour. So that is to get into that festive spirit, you know, Christmas is just around the corner. So for Christmas, I kind of like the flavours here that I've got, which is ginger and um, allspice. So not um, mixed spice, but actual allspice. And these are the flavours that we're going to use. And we're going to sweeten our cheesecake, which is raw vegan, by the way with mixed fruit okay so mixed dried fruit not just sultanas but the mixed dried fruit that's in there with some of the mixed dried fruit i've got it here soaking in orange and it's been soaking in orange which is another flavor of christmas to me for about an hour so to start with we are going to make the base so a cheesecake is typically a biscuit base but we can't use a biscuit base if we're doing raw vegan so we are going to use almonds we'll use almonds instead and we're going to bind them together with medjool dates. So the medjool dates here, make sure they're soft, make sure they're sticky, because that's what's going to bind our mix together. We're going to use the food processor to make the base. So we'll add in the almond, and then we'll add in the medjool dates. And we're going to sweeten it slightly and flavour it with a little bit of vanilla syrup, not technically raw, but you can obviously omit that if you want. And we'll just put a tiny little pinch of salt in as well. And then we'll mix it together. This up or processed it, I should say, for around a minute. What you're needing to do is to obviously get a biscuity type um, texture because a cheesecake is normally made with biscuits. As you can see, it does keep together. So we're gonna press this into our mold. So I'm using a um, silicon mold. They're definitely the best type to use because it makes it easier to get the cheesecake out. So we'll just scoop this out. And then we'll press it into the mold. So this is the fun bit, it's nice. I like raw food because it can be very hands-on, get your hands stuck in there, feel the textures. If you find that it's a little bit too um, chunky in places, this is quite chunky, or you feel it's sticking together, you can do this in a different way, especially if your food processor might not be as powerful as the one that I've got, and you can make crumbs with the almonds first, and then put your medjool dates in. Raw food is something that you can experiment with, so please do always experiment when you're playing, or should I say making, creating your recipes. Okay, so that's our base. We can now put the base to one side, and then we'll do the topping. So for the topping, I've got cashews. So if it's raw vegan, we obviously cannot use cheese, so cashews are a great alternative. They're very creamy and we've got them soaked so they soften and it makes them easier to blend. So I've just put 250 grams of cashews into here with the water on the top. We'll pour the water off, so we'll just drain them. Then we'll put them back into the blender. So I've got a Vitamix. You don't need such a powerful blender. It's obviously great if you've got one. You might just find that you'll need to blend them for longer if you've got a normal food processor. So into this, we're gonna add the juice of two lemons. We're gonna add in the mixed fruit. So not the soaked mixed fruit, but the actual mixed fruit. For all the um, quantities, just check the recipe. So we'll stick those in. We'll stick the flavorings in. So that's the ginger and the allspice. So in they go. And then we're going to help it to bind by using um, coconut oil. So we'll stick that into there. And then we'll put the lemon juice in, plus water as well. So we'll put some water in too. We'll stick the top on. And then we'll blend. nice and smooth okay so you've got a nice smooth topping and then this topping you're going to put on top of the base so 
So I do tend to like to use my hands when we are making food. The smoother out. And then we're going to take the orange soaked mixed fruit. We're not going to drain the orange off and we're just going to sort of sprinkle this over the top, however you want to sprinkle it. If you're great at making patterns, obviously you can make a nice pattern with it. We're just throwing it on, allow some of the orange juice to come onto the cheesecake as well. So that sort of gives an extra flavour to it. And then we are going to put it in the freezer and we'll put it in the freezer to set. So it's very straightforward, incredibly simple, absolutely delicious. Off you go and make one and enjoy the festive season with your Christmas cheesecake. Bye!